So 60 years of the Maserati Mistral. Did you enjoy our road test last week? Now that Spyder is off in France at the minute um, and it is going to the 60th rally in Strasbourg. But in the meantime, he's doing the Cameron Miller run, which is a Maserati do for the UK Maserati guys. And he's going to do another rally and then on to the 60th. So to celebrate 60 years of the Mistral, perhaps we should do some work on this one. So you remember this, this is the coupe, this is the, the Maggioli coupe or Maggioli. Well, I don't know how you pronounce that. Perhaps someone can correct me. So Umberto Maggioli, famous Italian racing driver, uh, contemporary of Sterling Moss and the like. Enzo Ferrari called him the world's best road racer. So he was a works driver for, for Ferrari, for Maserati, for Porsche, also for Lancia. So he did a lot. And his brother was interested in tuning Lancia Stratuses, which, as we know, has the Fiat Dino engine. And more on them another time, because there's a treat for you all from Strata stuff, but that's not yet. So yeah, we'll have a look at this one. we see if we can progress it a bit. So if I get the door off, we can have a proper look at what's going on in here. So we've got the A, no, we've got, that's the A post. <laughs> that's the B post. We've got the B post deconstructed at the minute because it had a lot of damage in it. So you, you might have to refer back to some of the old videos, but remember we had this trouble here with it and it was all, all crushed up. And all this area was damaged from a previous accident. Old Umberto was obviously overdriving it. Caracas, Venezuela, that's where this car went when it was new. And he had a place out there. So it lived out there and he obviously had a few offs. <laughs> Best road racer, <laughs> he was obviously road racing it. So yeah, I made that one to replace it. We made that panel, you've seen things about that one. Remember I made the swaging tool to make them. So they're, they're identical to factory, aren't they? They're all good, so that's ready to go. So we need to think about getting that in place. Uh, the front face of it, we've got to do some work in here. So we've got a lot of ripples in here, got some rust repairs there. And this is all sort of deformed where they've been hitting it, where they've been trying to sort of straighten it out. And you can see here this cut through there and where that doesn't line up. Well, that's where they cut it and then re-welded it. So this, this part, lower half has been removed. Uh, to do with this accent damage and straightened and they obviously left that bit in place and then welded it on through there So we'll neaten all that up. They'll get all that tidied up And then we've got an outer outer skin for it there Which I, I sort of doubled up because I made them for the other side didn't I? So that lot all sort of constructs like that becomes a box something like that And then obviously goes on there. So we've got that to do and then we've got seals haven't we? So we've got that seal to do Which is that one that's got to be replaced We've got well, we've got that one, which is a strengthener, which again, I remember, if you refer back to old films, we made the swaging tool for that, didn't we? That one's got to go on there, becomes that one, strengthens everything up, ties it all together. And before all that goes on, like the foundation is that piece behind it. which is that one. So you remember we made these, and you remember we made these details? So you have a drain hole in here, and you have these little sort of scoopy bits to, so that you know, any mud or water gets off it that way, you know, as it goes along the road. So they obviously go that way round. So that, that's sort of like the foundation, that goes on first, that one. And then on the very lower edge of that, you see you have this piece here, that piece, and that's that one. That will be this one that attaches onto here. And that's where your outer seal wraps round, clips onto that. So that's got to go on as well, that piece. So they're all made, they just need fitting. Well, that's the idea, isn't it, to get on with that. But we've also got some other work in here, which perhaps we'll have a look at. Oh, and there's that piece as well, that goes on, doesn't it? That goes on there, but we'll reuse that because that's quite heavy gauge and I can reuse that. We can clean this up and that's where it's sort of rotted underneath it. But we'll reuse that bit because that's, that's, that's fine to reuse. You know, in the spirit of keeping things original, we can, we can keep that. 
But yeah, you can see here, we've got to do that bit. That chassis rail's got to be done. So we'll want to let a piece of that in, won't we? A piece of that stuff, a piece of that box go in there. And that's what the pe throttle pedal attaches to there. So yeah, that's that. So, you better let me get on with it, hadn't you? See you later.